It is a great joy to have you here again. I greet you wherever you are. In this video we will talk about the following. Do dogs really miss their owners? Let's get started. We all miss our dogs when we have to leave them. Whether we're going on vacation, going to work, or absent, it's never easy to say goodbye to our dogs. However, do they feel the same? Doesn't your delicious dog food taste so good when we're not around? Sure, most dogs look like they're heartbroken when we leave, and they act crazy when we get back. But do they think of us when we are not with them? In fact, do they even perceive time as we do? Well, science has an answer, so let's see. 1. What does the research tell us? One study revealed that dogs miss us more when we've been away for longer periods. The study found that dogs have some understanding of time. According to the research, dogs greeted their owners more enthusiastically after two hours than after 30 minutes. However, when the researchers measured the dogs after four hours, they found no difference. During these periods of separation, they also showed negative emotions. In other words, dogs can start missing their owners from the moment they are separated. After that, keep missing them more and more for up to two hours. Beyond the two-hour mark, a plateau of melancholy begins until it sees its owner again. Okay, okay, you're probably wondering, but do our dogs miss us, or do they just miss people in general? Science has an answer for that too. Another study gave the dogs three different scents, that of their owner, someone familiar to the dog, and that of a stranger. In each case, the dog reacted more positively to its owner's scent. Furthermore, each dog was willing to wait by the door when they could no longer detect the owner's scent from him. The same did not happen with the other two aromas. However, unsurprisingly, the puppy showed more interest in the scent of the familiar person than the stranger. 2. What are the warning signs that your dog misses you? Of course, investigated or not, all dogs are unique. While everyone may miss their owners, some will cope better than others with separation. The question is, what type is your dog? If he misses you more than he can bear, your dog is going to show you some telltale signs. Chewing on your belongings, crying when you leave, and staring at the door after you've left are all key indicators. It will also give great importance to your return home, he can lean on your leg, or he can walk around the house with joy. 3. So, what can you do about it? Oftentimes, information like this I just gave you can seem like it is creating problems rather than solutions. None of us want our dogs to be miserable and sad, but we can't be with them all the time. Maybe your workplace is not dog-friendly. Perhaps you are visiting a friend or family member who does not like dogs, believe it or not, these people exist. Whatever the reason, you want to be sure that your dog is not too sad in your absence. As the previous study told us, dogs prefer to be with their owners, but they still feel affectionate with people they know. What is the solution? By leaving your faithful friend with someone familiar, you will offer him a bomb that will calm your absence. If you cannot find a relative or neighbor to fill this role, then you can choose a pet sitter to be the one to escort your dog. After a few visits, your puppy will recognize the nanny from him. He will never replace you, but they will ease your puppy's burden in his loneliness when you are away. Would you like to have more professional information, and especially updated about your dog? Visit the website below in the description of this video. Do not stop subscribing to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.